Hey everybody, it's Rich from Flight Brothers here and I'm going to be showing you how to add a micro USB port to your Turnigy 9X for flashing new firmware and programming your radio from the computer. Let's get started. We've got our 9X open up and at the brand of it you'll find an Atmel chip. Atmel chips can be reprogrammed using ISP programmers such as this one that I got on eBay very cheaply. We'll have links in our video description as well as at flightbrothers.com where you can get one of these. What we're going to do is we're going to take and install this on the side of the unit and then we're going to connect the programmer outputs to the microcontroller and that will allow you to reflash the firmware on this radio using your computer with a simple USB interface. Alright guys, so the first thing you need to do is figure out where you're going to put your programmer. I think that this is the best spot. So just take your programmer, put it on the outside of the unit, hold it in place, and uh, just etch a little mark right where you want it to go. Now I'm going to pre-punch this just because that's how I roll. And you are free to do it however you want. I'm going to go with the 530 seconds. Now just make sure that when you're doing this, you don't drill into your hand. So this is where some good clippers will come in handy. So just take and uh, clip it out. Now Got a nice little oval hole going here. And it's just big enough for our ISP programmer USB. Um, Alright, so we got a nice oval hole here and we're ready to test fit our programmer. Get it to yourself a USB cable. Hold the programmer up to the hole and see if you have no trouble plugging it in, and you shouldn't. Now, I will notice that this fit is kind of snug. The bulk of the cable almost makes direct contact with the outside of the casing. That makes you nervous that the cable is not going to fully seat. Then what you can do is you can take and slot out some of the plastic and that allow the programmer to sit deeper into the hole. Uh, maybe even to the point where the outside of the programmer comes up flush with the plastic, which is what I did with mine. I cut the slot, uh, but it's not needed. You don't have to do it. Just feel it out. You can tell um, when the cable's fully seated, and it does fully seat. That's probably going to be true for any cable you come across. But try it out. If you're worried, um, just you know, slot the plastic out so that you can fit the board in a little bit deeper and good to go. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to take and we're going to secure the programmer to the case. I like to use hot glue. Um, epoxy might be a better idea. However, I'll note that on my transmitter I hot glued it about two years ago and it's just fine. So we're going to add in some hot glue on the one side, let it, let it harden up. And then we're going to drizzle some hot glue down the back. And then we're going to get ready to hook up our wires. Yes, there we go. Alright, while that's uh, cooling off, let's get some wires together. You're going to need about... You're going to need about this much of six different wires. Do they have to be different colors? No. As long as you keep them straight, you can use all the same color, I don't care. But they do have to be tinned. Right, there we go. Now the easy peasy part. You just start wherever you want. Follow the diagram. <clears throat> Follow the diagram right there. And now you'll notice that the programmer is labeled right here. So I did red for voltage. Now uh, voltage goes here. Be 
angle. I'm gonna get a couple more degrees out of my deal here. What's next? Mosi, M O S I. Um, following the diagram, belongs here. Ground is here. We got next the white one connects to Miso. Yellow is socket, which is over here. And green is reset, right here. Perfect. That's all there is to it. This is ready to be closed up plugged in the computer and reflash. Okay, we've got our USB cable hooked up and we're running OpenTX Companion on our desktop. The first thing to do is click on the USB settings button. Make sure your programmer is set to USB Tiny and click the advanced controls and set your MCU to M128. It should be auto detected but it doesn't hurt to set it yourself. You have the option here to read firmware. This will allow you to save whatever firmware is already in the radio. You can use this in the future after reflashing for backup purposes. But right now I'm going to do it just to demonstrate and also to back up the original 9x firmware in case I want to restore it later. Just choose a file name and click on save. And in about five minutes it'll take a copy of the firmware in the radio. We're going to speed that up here. All right, with that being done, now you can go ahead and click on the right firmware button to upgrade the firmware on your radio. You can choose a version and you can even load a hex file that you might have downloaded off the internet. And you can set your splash screen on startup. I leave the OpenTX logo on, but you can change it if you want to make a new image for yourself. This process also takes about five minutes. It's sped up here, but once it's done, you're all set. OpenTX has been flashed to your radio. And at this point, you can keep using the OpenTX Companion to set up your models and your mixes and all the other features that you've just got from OpenTX. Of course, everything can also be done from the front of the radio itself. It's up to you. But this is a huge upgrade for the Turnigy 9X, and we'd be really happy to hear in your comments how well this worked out for you. Um, so please like this video if it was helpful, and hit that subscribe button.